For the dinosaur fans out there, LEGO is about to release three new products in the Jurassic World range, and while the brick-built Ankylosaurus isn't really in line with what I want out of the theme, these two on the other hand deliver beautifully on what for me is the best the theme has to offer, the pre-molded dinosaurs. Thank you LEGO for sending them for review. A quick look at the box will give away the fact that these three sets are based off of an upcoming Netflix show called Chaos Theory, which hasn't heard yet, and the reason why these characters look unfamiliar, at least to me. The Lego Baby Bunky Ankylosaurus is as cute of a brick-built dinosaur as you could get. While it may not look like it, the build is dense, jam-packed with pieces and was actually quite fun to put together, with a few interesting building techniques for the body armor parts or the old head which was the highlight of the set for me. I'm not too sure about the colorful color scheme with the teal shade of bricks going on, but it sure is eye-catching for kids, which makes sense given the age marking of the product, while the tan and dark tan details feel more grounded. And I won't bother beating around the bush anymore because this model actually has a very surprising play feature in which if you move the head, the tail will move in sync. Given how the tail club is moving very loosely due to the use of these particular inch pieces, this makes the whole thing almost lifelike and fun to play with if you want to ram it against things. Besides those points of movement, the tail section can be tilted up and down, same goes for the head and legs all have click hinges for extra poses, though that doesn't give us that many options to explore due to how tiny they are. And lastly, the mouth of the baby dinosaur can also be opened so that we can feed it a few of these plants and vegetables included for a bit of nurture play. Having a little over 350 pieces, it ended up being a surprisingly good deal, considering the average prices for the theme, so while it definitely isn't my favorite of the three new Jurassic World sets coming to shelves, when it comes to value and building experience, it certainly feels the best. The LEGO Dinosaur Mission's Stegosaurus Discovery is named in a very interesting way, similar to the Dinosaur Mission's Allosaurus Transport Truck, so maybe we will get to see a few more of these types of products in the future. Now I don't want to get distracted by that, because for the first time ever we get a Stegosaurus to add to our modern LEGO Dino collections. I'm a sucker for these types of pieces, maybe it's my inner child that never had dinosaur toys which makes me so hype about this. But there you have it. Much like last year's Brachiosaurus, while there's a lot of stuff going on for the product, this particular dinosaur is the sole reason dinosaur loving fans should get this Lego set. The leg elements are the same as the Lego Triceratop ones minus the prints, while the body is an all new element. The subtle ends of scales are really nice looking, the details for the face including the eye prints are great, and the back plates and tail spikes are all done in this rubbery material of sorts that while pointy looking won't hurt anyone during play. The mouth can hold regular bar elements, but as opposed to most of the other molded LEGO dinosaurs, this one doesn't have any LEGO studs for connections. I don't love this one as much as the Brachiosaurus, but it certainly is at the top of the list for my favorite LEGO dinosaurs out there. It isn't however the only one included in this set, as there's also a small Velociraptor, which by itself is an impressive mold as well with all of those prints on the body. When it comes to characters, the set includes Ben and Sammy, which I have yet to know anything about since the show isn't out yet, but they're okay as far as LEGO minifigures go. Besides that, all of this is also part of the set, and starting here, there's a small nest scene with a broken eggshell, maybe belonging to the small raptor there. There's also a fallen tree trunk by a bonfire where a minifigure can sit, not knowing a pair of eyes are lurking inside, which is a fun detail if it weren't for the fact that this is a stick which the set does have a few of. These two small scenes have clips to them, allowing them to be connected to a larger tree build for a bit of a forest scene of sorts. The tree itself is quite a simple build and it serves as a lookout to dinosaur watching, or squirrel watching, which is interesting as I don't remember ever seeing regular animals included on LEGO dinosaur products. In the back, the tree is hollow, serving as a hiding spot for play, I wanna say, and there's this plate with bars where 
onto which the van's ladder can be attached to so that the characters can go up. The van itself has the off-roader vibe to it with the raised body, front bumpers and some items at the top, which can be accessed by the previously mentioned ladder. The top for the driver's access can be lifted like this, whereas the old back of the model opens like this, which is an interesting way to do it I don't think I've seen before. Inside there's a few stickers for notes in the walls, and this platform can be taken out to better access the bed, seat and map. Underneath it is something that looks like a bathtub, though that doesn't make any sense, right? Maybe it's something else, but I can't really say what. And to finish things off, there's this trailer that connects to the back of the van like this, making it fun to drive around, with a few extras you can remove for a bit more play. A satellite dish station of sorts, and a lab-like instrument of sorts devoted to studying the stegosaurus, it seems, if you look at the sticker it has for a screen. 420 pieces for a price of $65 may look like a bad deal on the surface, though, like most LEGO Jurassic World products, a lot of the budget goes into producing these pre-molded creatures, which always makes it hard to judge its value when compared to regular LEGO products. But considering the amount of play and side builds it has, a few characters and especially that Stegosaurus Dino, while not being the most affordable of LEGO products, it packs a lot of value besides its piece count, and is my favorite out of these three products. But as the huge dinosaur fan that I am, I may be a little bit biased, so take that as you will. The LEGO Dinosaur Missions Allosaurus Transport Truck feels like something I would have gone absolutely crazy about if I got this as a kid. Truck? Check. Extra vehicles? Check. Dino holding trailer? Check. Menacing looking LEGO Predator Dinosaur? Check. But before all that, let's take a look at the four minifigures included, featuring a few extra characters for that Chaos Theory upcoming show. Kenji, Darius and Yaz, all great looking, all things considered. There's also the fourth figure, which is just an unnamed guard with that cool Jurassic torso print in the back. The small quad bike is a simple build that does its job right and despite the size even has room for two minifigures, as well as a few clips on the back for their belongings. A neat side build, however, is the drone, quite big when compared with minifigures, but I guess as small as you could make one in LEGO and I love it. The propellers don't spin, sadly, but the arms can be adjusted for transport if you wish, and I like the tranquilizer syringes it has on top to hunt down the dino. The American style truck cab is nice, with the unusual white on sand green color scheme that fits it well. You can remove the hood to reveal the engine and the cabin roof to access the driver's seat as well as a small space behind it. A stickered calendar on the wall marks an X on the 9th of June, so I wonder what it could mean. There's a few stickers on the sides as well for detailing, the ones down here have these splashes of mud, and on the back there's a bar that seems to be the perfect spot to store the drone, and a new ball coupling element that makes attaching the cage trailer very easy to then just drive off. And the size of it all kinda gives its purpose away, right? To keep the Allosaurus in check. In some ways, an all new dinosaur, much like the Stegosaurus from the other set from this new June wave. Many of its parts are repurposed from other dinosaurs, but it's the new head mold that makes this one a new species to Lego. The prints look great, especially the eyes and teeth, and posability is the same kind you'd expect from Lego dinos like the T-Rex. Tail rotates, all limbs move independently, the head can tilt and rotate, and the jaw can open. I will say that the jaw does look odd to me, because when in a closed position it kinda makes it look like the dinosaur doesn't have a lower jaw at all, as it disappears behind the upper jaw teeth, right? It does look better when open, but I still feel it should have been beefier. As you'd expect, the Predator fits in the cage trailer like this, and there's the supports we turn down when the trailer isn't being towed by the truck. There's a ramp in the back to get the dinosaur in there, but I purposely say saved the best for last, which is this neat and simple function that releases and opens the cage like so. The way it all works with this suspension element is amazing to me, given how easy it is to trigger and reset the whole thing which makes it perfect for kids to play over and over again. At little under 600 pieces, the Jurassic World tax and the production cost of those dinosaur pieces are the reasons why the price is inflated to that $90 price point, which I can 
can understand. And even though this isn't the most affordable of LEGO sets, I think people who buy these for their kids aren't exactly looking for the best price per piece ratio metrics, but instead they want to look at the box and figure out whether or not this is a fun product for kids to play with. In that regard, I think this one does its job extremely well, so the kids who get it will not be disappointed. As an adult fan of LEGO, I still find the play feature of the cage extremely fun and the product as a whole feels solid, but out of the three sets I reviewed on this video, I gotta give it to my boy Stegosaurus. I'm extremely happy to add this to my growing collection of LEGO dinosaurs due to how iconic of a species it is. In some parts of the world you can pre-order these already, purchased June 1st, but for some weird reason the US can only do so in August, so I'm not sure what's that all about. Do use the links below to check availability around the world, make your purchases if you'd like to support the channel even further, and I'll see you all in the next one.